So you know that thing where someone messages you um, and you really like them, they're a friend, they're a good friend and you see the message and then something happens and life gets crazy and you forget to message back. Not because you don't want to message back, because you're just like, life's gone mad and I, I need to message that person back and then other things happen and you forget to message them back and then like weeks later you remember you didn't message them back and then you go and look at your messages and you're like oh my god I never messaged them back and they know I saw the message and then you feel really really bad and then you're scared to message back because you look like an absolute donkey because you didn't message back. More time goes on because you don't want to message because then you feel really stupid saying, oh my God, I'm sorry I didn't message you back. And then it's just a vicious cycle. And the longer it goes on, the less you feel you can message. And then you just hope it's gonna go away. And it's not because you don't really like the person or you don't want to talk to them. It's just, it gets to the point where it's just like, it is too much time. Hi friends! Um, yeah. So that's how it kind of feels. Um, do you know it's been two years, longer than two years, since I uploaded a video? Why is that? There's a few reasons. Um, so, um, first of all, I hope you're all really, really well. Um, and I haven't ever forgotten about any of you. It's just, well, life went a bit mad, didn't it? The world has gone a bit mad. Start at the beginning. So, last time I uploaded was, I believe, January 2020. And my last video was um, my trip to Stratford-upon-Avon with my good friend Nance, um, and that was the last video I uploaded. Um, and then the, the world went kind of crazy. Um, March 2020, Covid. The C word. So obviously, for those of you that have been sticking with me all through that time, you know that I was at uni. Uh, I was due to finish at uni in May 2020. And in March 2020, everything shut down. Uni was shut. Um, well, everything shut, didn't it? We were in the UK here, everything shut. Uh, we went into a lockdown and yeah, all sort of institutions, shops, that sort of thing, all kind of just shut. So, those of us in our third year at uni had to complete our degrees um, remotely, basically. And I was doing a performance degree. <laughs> so our performances, our theatre performances, performances we'd made, had to be converted to electronic performances, whether that was like just filming us doing it from home or... I wasn't so bothered, I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> It didn't mess my head up too much because A, it meant I didn't have to leave the house. Peopley, it's peopley out there, out there, peopley. I don't like it. It meant I could have a lie in <laughs> every day. That's so bad, isn't it? But my performance piece was actually a musical piece. So I was able to convert my piece really, really easily. And uh, I did a album recorded in my bathroom, best acoustics. But having said all that, it's not really the way you want to finish three years of, of like hard work. And if I'm honest with you, it wasn't me that I was at sad for. Um, I'm obviously a mature student and I live in the city I was studying in. So um, what I was sad for was that obviously at the end of three years for my classmates who had a lot of them had traveled from other places in the UK and other places in the world to study 
they'd made lifelong friendships, lifelong connections. And all of a sudden, in March, two months, March, April, yeah, two months before they were meant to finish, suddenly it was all cut short for them. They all had to go home. Uh, it was like completely... It was just awful for them because they never got to say goodbye to their friends. They never got to have that final party to finish handing in their dissertations, finishing their degrees, finishing, you know, their final performances. They never got to do any of that, like that rite of passage for, you know, young people that have studied at uni. It was just completely cut short and taken away from them. So I wasn't that bothered. <laughs> Sounds awful. But I was bothered for them because, like, how rubbish is that? So that was tw the beginning of 2020, um, and obviously I wasn't going anywhere, I wasn't doing anything. All, my, all our gigs were cancelled. Theatre shows that I was in rehearsals for with Nance, my friend who you saw in the last video, and a couple of other friends, Helen and Sonia. We were putting on a production in York, it was sold out, it was amazing, and that was meant to happen and of course it didn't happen the world shut down and for those of us in the arts whether that's theatre or film or music or any of the arts um life just was hell it just stopped and then of course the year went on and all through that time, um, not to get too kind of serious, perhaps trigger warning now, guys, um, for unaliving um, of family. Um, in June of 2020, um, my nan who I was very close to because she she's my hero really um, because I was raised by a single parent and my nan so my mum and my nan raised me and we all lived together I always say that my nan lived with us but kind of we lived with my nan um, for my entire childhood right up until I left home at 17 my nan live with us we we were just we just all lived together so when my mum was out working like all the time like every hour god sends to like make a living my nan was the one that was at home kind of raising me and doing all the like nan stuff you know like we would bake and she taught me like daft stuff but like awesome stuff like um how to change a light bulb and how to wire a plug and you know silly stuff like that but um yeah, really, I mean, my nan was awesome cool. Um, but she had been suffering for quite a long time. I mean, t to be fair, she was um, 98 in 2020. Um, and she'd been suffering for a long time with uh, dementia. And she was in a home. But she was in a home in the same town that my mum lives in. So my mum was like there a lot. But obviously in 2020, in June of 2020, my nan passed away. And it was rough because we weren't allowed to travel or visit. Um, I mean, it was, my mum was with her, um, but I mean really that was the discretion of the home that she was in um because technically no one was allowed in or out of the home so they were so kind to my mum and my nan as well but we don't really know how much she was fully aware of um allowing my mum to be with her but it was hard because i couldn't go travel to you know down the country to be with her or my mum. So yeah, that was that was a bad time. Um, so she died like a month before her 99th birthday. That's a pretty good innings. 
<laughs> the women in my family literally go on forever. The men, they all just hop off at about 50, but the women, we just keep going. So that was like a low point of 2020. And I know I'm not alone in that. There was, over the past couple of years, there's been so many, and I'm sure there are people watching this who, who lost people over the last two years and couldn't be there with them um, because of the situation. So yeah, um, 2020 kind of sucked really, didn't it? And then 2021 happened. Oh. So 2021 started with even more good news. My mum got COVID and my mum has underlying health problems and my mum nearly passed away. Like, seriously. To the point where in January 2021, um, I had messages from her friends saying they couldn't get hold of her or they got hold of her and she was making no sense and she wasn't making any sense on the phone and she was just didn't know where she was or who she was or what she was doing and and I rang her and I eventually got through to her and she didn't know who I was and it was just awful so we're like literally from 400 miles away I'm ringing an ambulance to get an ambulance to her house 400 miles away um thinking are they going to even get into the house how is she even going to get to the door she's not going to know what's going on um yeah it was um it was a time and then I'm chasing around every hospital in the area she's from. Like, I'm phoning all the hospitals in Essex going, have you brought in this woman? Do you know this woman? Is is Sam's mum in the hospital? And um, I eventually found her because obviously we didn't know where she'd been taken. Um, and that night, about one o'clock in the morning, the doctor rang me and said, uh, sorry to have to do this over the phone to you, but she's not going to last the night. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a very surreal conversation to be having. Um, but like I say, the women in my family, oh, 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 they never go anywhere. She was a fighter. She fought it. She was in the hospital for flipping ages. Like, I think probably a month, maybe more. Um, until they got like everything back to normal, all, you know, oxygen levels and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, but she has the long COVID now. It's been a year, or are we in February? Over a year. Um, and she um, she's still off work. So, you know, horrendous. So 2021 started well. Aside from that, what, did, what, did any of us really think that this would go on so long. I remember in 2020 sitting there with my friends in like January, February time of 2020, sitting in our favourite cafe in York, discussing how like, oh, because we were meant to be going, me and Nance were meant to be taking a performance at the Edinburgh Fringe in August 2020. And we were sat there in like February time going, oh yeah, but this will be over in like a couple of months. And then, so the fringe isn't going to get cancelled. <sighs> So here we are, 2022. I'm not gonna lie, I'm an optimist, trying to make the best of everything. And I've got stuff in the pipeline, which is very, very exciting for this year. Um, got some shows that I'm directing and that I'm in. And the band has gigs in the diary again we've done a couple this year already and but there is still kind of venues that are pulling gigs and there is still stuff going on that um um which means gigs have to be pulled and it's very frustrating but we appear to be going in the right direction i'm just universe Thank you, universe. We appear to be going in the right direction. Oh, and Nance moved away. That's the other thing. Nance moved to London. She lives in that London now. Um, so that's quite sad. She left in August 2020 during a little gap in lockdowns. <laughs> she was like, she, she's wanted, to, but we're happy for her because she's wanted to live in London like all her life. 
Um, so now she lives in London and she's doing good. Um, so yeah, that, that's very cool. I think what I'm trying to say is there isn't really any excuse for stopping vlogging. But I would like to start again, if you guys will have me. I have really missed it, but with the world the way it's been, it just feels like I've had nothing to say. And sometimes my mental health, you know, does this. And I've struggled a lot during this period of time. Um, struggled a lot mentally. Um, and sometimes I think you've got to be kind to yourself. Well, you've always got to be kind to yourself. And you have to take that time out sometimes to uh, evaluate what is important at that time. And I am the worst for, like, wanting to do everything. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do everything. I can do everything. I can do that. I'm already really, really busy with that, but I'm going to do that too. Because life is short. But at the same time, you've got to be realistic. And sometimes things have to go on the back burner just for your own mental health. And I went on some medication during the lockdown, as I think a lot of us did. Um to cope with, um, you know, everything that was going on in the world. It was a scary time. So if any of you guys have struggled during this these couple of years, just remember you're not alone. And I'm thinking of you and I'm sending you all the healing. Oh, the healing. Um, because it's it's been really rough. And even my most upbeat and, you know, outgoing and extroverted and fun and you know happy friends have struggled they've had times when they've really hit rock bottom so I'm sending you all the love and I hope that you will all forgive me for being away for so long two years man I am so rubbish but I've really missed you guys and I've missed chatting to you and I've missed all my YouTube friends. <laughs> and I want to give a big shout out actually to Amber Scholl. Uh, because she is one of the reasons that I'm kind of back. Uh, she doesn't know me and she will never know me, obviously. Because she's like super duper YouTuber. However, what I do want to say is she's very inspirational. She's great i think she's so much fun i love watching her videos they cheer me right up but i find them very uplifting as well and she's absolutely right you know you should grab these opportunities and do what you love and always think positive to the future and she's given me a bit of a kick up the bum to get back on here again and say i'm sorry and thank you all and I hope that you will have me back. I can't promise how exciting any of these videos are going to be. I mean, really, the, the world is still crazy out there. But, you know, I'll take you along on my weird adventures. Like, you know, back on the weird adventures again. Um, gigs and cake runs. We've been doing a lot of cake runs. When I say runs, I don't mean runs. <laughs> But there's this amazing cake shop in York and me and my friends Helen and Sonia, who are like absolute queens, my rocks. We've been going and getting a lot of cake from there. I've expanded in lockdown. Oh, don't even care. Don't even care. I love myself as I am. Oh. But yeah, we've been eating a lot of cake. Cake face. So yeah, I'll be taking you along on anything I go to because I've missed you guys so much. Anyway, listen, I'm talking far too much and I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to share with you? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I graduated. <laughs> um, that was kind of a big deal because obviously in 2020, I was meant to graduate in November 2020. Never happened for obvious reasons. Um, so they pushed our graduation back to November 2021. So I graduated like 18 months, maybe 16 months after I actually finished my uni course. But, you know, I did get to graduate. There I am. I got to wear a silly hat. So happy. But you know what, guys? I'm going to go because I'm been wittering on for like over 20 minutes. And if you stuck with me to this point, I love you. <laughs> If you've clicked off, I still love you. Um, and if you wanna, do you know what? I'm gonna ask this, and I don't think I've ever asked this before, but if you wanna share this video or invite your friends uh, to come along on the crazy ride, um, I would love that. I've never really pushed wanting subs, but why not? Why shouldn't I get some subs? It could be fun. More friends, I love friends. The more friends, the merrier. So guys, once again, I'm sorry it's taken me two years, but you know, these things happen. Life happens. And I love you all. And I have missed you. And I promise I will do better. Hopefully, I have a gig on Sunday. I'll be taking you to that. Oh yeah, it's Friday today. Is it Friday today? It's Friday today. I'll be taking you to the gig on Sunday. And I will see you in the next one.